Hello, hello everybody. How are we doing this afternoon? We're gonna make Reese's peanut butter balls. Um, super excited for that, I think. Oh, my iPad is almost gonna die, you guys. So just enough battery to post this on my, my personal Facebook page. Hello, hello, Taylor, how are you? Hello, everybody. Um, <clears throat> I am just sharing this on my personal Facebook page and then we will get cooking these Reese's peanut butter balls. Hi, Tammy. So I did put up the recipe um, a couple hours ago and I asked you guys um, if it would be okay if I did part of the recipe ahead of time. Um, so that we didn't have to wait an hour to coat them in chocolate. So you guys know how I feel about making stuff ahead of time. And I really, really, really didn't want double the Reese's peanut butter balls. So I did just cut the recipe in half. Do, I think there's probably like eight, eight Reese's peanut butter balls out in the freezer. And we're going to do the other eight. Put those outside, bring those inside, and we're going to coat them here. Um, so you guys don't have to wait the hour for me to coat these... Um, Reese's peanut butter balls. I did something weird in my iPad, and now the, the keyboard's in like the bottom left hand corner. I don't know what I did while I was talking to you guys, but let's try and fix it so that I can, so that I can hopefully type normal. Hello, hello everybody. I am just going to share this on my personal Facebook page, um, and then we will get going. Just a quick recipe. Um, what's super awesome about these is we don't have to do any baking and then other than coating them in chocolate, we don't even really have to like use an oven or stove besides coating them in chocolate. So super easy to throw together really quick if you are good at um, coating candies. I'm not good yet. I am really, really brand new at it. Hi, Charlene. Peanut butter balls are some super yummy. They looked super yummy. Um, hi, Sherry Rose. You guys, welcome. Um, we are just going to make these. My grandma calls them Reese's peanut butter balls, but um, we aren't using anything that's Reese's brand. So I would say it probably doesn't taste exactly like a Reese's, but we will see. I can't remember um, if I've ever had these at her house when she's made them. But I love peanut butter, and as long as you use smooth peanut butter, then it is good with me, you guys. I'm just taking a second to share this on my personal Facebook page and then share um, share it to a couple of cooking groups that I'm a part of. If you guys want to do the same, um, go for it. I'd appreciate it. So we've got those shared out, you guys. Hello, hello. I think I'm going to do what I did um, the last two times, you guys. And I'm going to get past the first stage of our recipe. And then we will do a giveaway if those 25 people are still hanging out with us after the first step. So I'm going to get going, you guys. Reese's peanut butter balls. So sorry for the wet hair. I wanted to shower but didn't have time to do anything after I got out of the shower. So wet hair it is. We need peanut butter, whatever peanut butter you guys prefer. If you like chunky, use chunky. My grandma loves chunky or smooth if you like smooth. I prefer smooth. I don't like nuts. You guys know that. I love peanut butter, but I don't like peanuts, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> all right, so we're going to do peanut butter, powdered sugar, butter, vanilla, semi-sweet chocolate, and I did find paraffin wax to put in my chocolate. My grandma highly recommends it just to make your balls easier to coat and they set up nicer and whatnot. So we're going to try it. Hi, Jody. Hello, you guys. Rory is watching from the, the living room. That means something because his Vikings are still on and he is multitasking to, to check out my show, which is awesome. Okay, you guys, we're going to get started. So in a large bowl, we're going to mix the peanut butter, the butter, and the vanilla. I did ask my grandma. She recommends that you do soften your butter. So like I said, I made half of this recipe um, earlier and it's in my garage freezing. So we're just going to do half a recipe right now. So my measurements will be different than what I have in the description of this video. So you guys will do six tablespoons of butter. I'm doing three and I'm just going to stick it in here, you guys, um, to soften it. I do also, because I'm not having to wait that full hour for my Reese's peanut butter balls to freeze in the freezer, I do have my pot of water 
simmering um, right now so that when we get to that part, we can start our double boil with our chocolate. But like I said, we're gonna get past this first stage and then we'll do our giveaway, you guys. So welcome, welcome if you are new here. I'm um, Riley, I'm Mom Fueling Hungry Boys. I'm not a professional, I've never gone to school for this. So bear with me, we are learning together. Um, I am a visual person and so I want to provide visuals for people who wanna try out new recipes for their family. Um, I don't normally do this many sweets, but for November and December, we are working our way through my grandma's holiday treat recipes in her recipe book. So there's a lot more um, sweets going around, but I do try to fit in some dinners and some sides in during the week. So we are gonna do, normally it would be a cup of peanut butter of your choice, smooth or crunchy. But like I said, I did half of the recipe already, so I'm just gonna do half a cup here to do the other half of my Reese's peanut butter balls. Um, in my video yesterday, I did manage to link this handy dandy measuring cup for you guys on Amazon. Super cheap. I want to say like $11 maybe. And I highly recommend it for peanut butter, mayonnaise, anything that's, um, you know, like hard to spread and get into your measuring cup and then you got to scoop it back out. I will show you guys how this awesome thing works. Um, but and it does liquids and solids. And they're on different sides of the measuring cup, so I have it set to half a cup in a solid. And we are going to just, so you guys can see what's happening. So we have half a cup of peanut butter, you guys. And you just do that, you swivel it, and it's all pushed out, and all you have to do is scrape it. And it just comes right off, you guys, so you're not having to scrape the insides and outsides of a measuring cup. So it's just in there, there's our half a cup. We are also, um, if you are new to my page, I do do giveaways for 25, 50, and 75 live views that hang out for um, longer than five minutes is what it normally is. But today I'm just gonna get past this first step and then we will do our giveaway. So we have half a cup of peanut butter. We have our butter. I'm gonna soften it one more time in the microwave. And we need our vanilla. So you normally do a teaspoon of vanilla. Today I'm doing half a teaspoon because I did already make half of my peanut butter balls, you guys, and those are outside and they look so yummy. So just half. And then we are gonna use my egg beaters and we are gonna mix together the peanut butter and the butter. And you wanna mix it until it's nice and smooth. There aren't any chunks of butter. Take your time, um, really get in there um, to make it nice and smooth and creamy, you guys. Share Dawn, seven groups, thank you. Melissa, welcome back. Scarlett, hello. Tyler, hello. We are making Reese's peanut butter balls today, you guys. They're gonna be so yummy. They're so, so easy to make, other than coating them in chocolate. If somebody has some magical way to coat candies, please let me know, because that's the only thing that takes a little bit of time and effort but they will be worth it. Um, so we've got our butter softening in the microwave. We have our peanut butter and our vanilla. I'm trying to balance the spatula on um, my measuring cup so it doesn't hit the counter. All right, you guys, so we've got our butter and it's nice and softened. And we are just gonna beat this until it's fully mixed and incorporated with each other. You want it nice and smooth, no chunks, bumps, or lumps, unless you're using chunky peanut butter. Thank you, yes, Skull Vikings. Yeah, the Vikings are playing today, so I thought I would represent um, without having to risk my jersey getting dirty while I was baking. So we're just gonna keep mixing this. Like I said, we don't want any lumps or bumps. Unless you're using chunky peanut butter, then it will obviously be a little bit harder for you to get that perfect consistency. So what I recommend is if you're using chunky peanut butter, to really, really, really get your butter softened. Be as soft as it can without melting because you really don't want any of those um, chunks of butter in there. Yes, you guys, look at all those viewers. Hello, hello, welcome, you guys. I am Mom Feeling Hungry Boys. We do giveaways when we hit 25, 50, 75, 80, or I mean 75, 100 live views that stay there for longer than five minutes. Today, we're gonna get past this first step and then I will do my giveaway. So. Down the side 
sides of my bowl since I am using a large bowl um, we want to get it make sure this mixture gets nice and mixed together so right now you can see that there are some lumps in my peanut butter I am using smooth peanut butter so lumps we don't want we want that butter to be nice and mixed into our peanut butter you guys so that is our goal <laughs> ready to go so I'm just going to move on to our next step thank you Macy hi dad how are you Ashley welcome back so we've got our peanut butter butter and our vanilla in here for our Reese's peanut butter balls and we are gonna now add, it, add our powdered sugar and mix it well um, normally you would do two cups of powdered sugar you guys but like I said I already did half of my peanut butter balls so that they could be nice and chilled so we can coat them here on the live shelf you guys know that I don't normally do that, but um, I did look at the recipe and I could have it. And so I did. I did half of the recipe, um, half the peanut butter balls because everyone knows I don't need 24 peanut butter balls in my house right now. I still have all my peanut butter fudge from yesterday besides whatever my husband scarfed the, uh, the second it was done setting. All right, so we have our powdered sugar. We're just going to mix that up nice and good, you guys. Everybody. Kingston's gonna take a nap today. He woke it's up a little. I know here. it's the powdered sugar. Oh. Uh, he got a, up a little earlier this morning, so he's gonna lay down for a little bit and rest. So everybody say good night, Kingston. Oh, I know you're sad, baby. I love you. I know he's fussy. He didn't realize. So he said he didn't want to take a nap, and he said he wanted to watch the Vikings game. Here he's thinking it's going to be this big long game, and there was only like three minutes left of the game, so he didn't really get what he he was aiming for. Yes, a wonderful Sunday with all these sweets and game. <laughs> so Macy, with the last four desserts, I'm going to. I have them in the deep freeze. And I'm going to send them to my dad with his Christmas present. So that's what I'm doing with the most recent ones. Um, the ones I made in Minnesota, I kept at my mother-in-law's house so she could enjoy those. Um, so I think all I have here are Martha Washington balls and peanut butter fudge. We ate all the Rice Krispies. Um, we ate the no-bake cookies before we went on vacation. And then I made all those um, recipes at my mom's house and I left all those at her house too. So. All right. So this is what it should look like, you guys. It looks kind of like that when you um, mix it all up, but the second that you um, add any pressure to it, it, it firms up nicely for a ball. So that's going to be good. I'm just going to give it one more mix to get this um, powdered sugar mixed in. And then we will just form our balls, you guys, and that's it. Other than coating them in chocolate, they are seriously the easiest little things to make. already so this might look like a little bit but I was able to make like eight to ten balls out of my last batch so it's always kind of a mystery to me what size I should make them um hello hello yes that's what my husband said too it looked like it was snowing um so we are just going to just have a little pan you're gonna line it with either parchment paper or tin foil. I found this awesome, um, super non-stick, heavy-duty foil at Target. Um, it's um, 
I thought all tinfoil is supposed to be non-stick, but I guess I was advertised wrong. So we just do this, you guys, just line your teeth. Then we were gonna, yes, Macy, you, yeah, you've been kind of incognito. So, um, um, Harmony, um, I would say, so the last time I made those Martha Washington balls and I went all out, you guys, and I bought that Godiva chocolate, I wouldn't say, I, I wouldn't say it helped us at all when it came to coating. So I just got the Nestle's Toll House semi-sweet morsels for melting, you guys. That's it. I also decided um, that for my family members that don't really like chocolate, like my brother, he will eat it, but he prefers either non-chocolate things or white chocolate things. So I'm going to do half. Reese's Dolls in um, semi-sweet and half in some premier white Nestle chips, you guys. I think it's going to be super, super good. After I'm rolling the, done rolling these, you guys, I am going to do our giveaway. So get those shares out there. Get people in and watching so that we can do a couple of giveaways. Um, we've had two people post their giveaway prizes on um, Facebook today. So you guys can go over there and check those out. Super exciting. One of them was a, um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen those little egg steamer things. And you just poke a hole in the top of your egg and then you put them in the steamer and they're perfect um, like hard boiled eggs every time. My husband loves it and he had never seen it before and he got it super cheap at Walmart. And so I thought, you know, if my husband likes it, I'm sure everyone else is going to think it's pretty awesome. My dad likes dark chocolate. Oh, I do have some dark chocolate chips, Dad. I don't know. I could do a couple in dark chocolate for you since I'm sending them your way. Um, yeah, you agree with my dad. Really, who else likes dark chocolate? I am not a dark chocolate fan. Um, I think the only time I enjoy it, you guys, that's about how big we want them. Um, the only time I enjoy it is like those dark chocolate, I think they're like pomegranate uh, little snacks. I like that. I like the very, you know, the kind of tart note of fruit with the dark chocolate potency that it has. But other than that, I probably prefer white chocolate over anything else. You like both. Jasmine, you like dark chocolate. Jessica, white chocolate. Thank you for sharing, you guys. Yes, Ashley, no dark for me either. I really, um, it's definitely not something that ever crosses my mind. I will actually steer away if anything says dark chocolate, like on a menu or something. I don't, definitely does not tickle my fancy at all. So we are just rolling these out, you guys. Um, so we've got about eight now, and I'm gonna just do two more, and then we are going to pop it outside. It is like seven degrees out here in Minot, North Dakota today, so my, my garage is definitely cold enough. Um, I'm gonna pop them outside in the garage or maybe I can convince my hubby to do it. Um, and then we are gonna get to coating the ones that I did a little while ago. So I made half of the batch two hours ago and stuck them outside in the garage. So I'm gonna pop these outside and then we're gonna do our giveaway putting dark chocolate in the freezer. Yep, my dad does that. Putting it in the freezer and then eats it. Milk chocolate only for you. Malik, milk chocolate, white chocolate. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm gonna pop these outside and then we're gonna do our giveaway, you guys, all right? All right, these are the ones that were outside. They're nice and frozen. So that is ready to go. I am going to just pop. So this is our paraffin wax, you guys. My grandma told me to shave it up nice. So I did a two inch block out of the block of paraffin. And then I'm gonna just dump this whole bag in here. So our first ones we will do will be chocolate, and then um, the second ones I have outside, I'll do milk chocolate, or white chocolate. So we will turn that on, you guys, our double boil. Get me situated to type in names quickly and efficiently as possible. Um, 
both dogs. I have two dogs. They always kind of hang out. They hang out at my feet. They know that I am prone to dropping things that are yummy and delicious. So they kind of just hang out and wait for it to happen. All right. So we are going to do our random name generator, you guys. Completely randomized. And then I have one of you in the audience. I have you pick... Um, what numbers that we do so that it's as random as possible so that nobody feels like I am trying to cheat the system or somebody is trying to cheat it. 77 degrees, yeah, it's cold, you guys. Um, 60 degrees here in LA, I am jealous. Hi, Thelma, welcome. I have seen you a couple of times on my notifications this morning. All right, you guys, 67 of you. Now it is time to comment your name. If you are new here, we are making Reese's Peanut Butter Balls. We have stopped. We made our Reese's Peanut Butter Balls, stuck them outside to chill. We are gonna stop, do a giveaway. For every 25, 50, 75, and 100 live views that stay there, for longer than five minutes, I do a giveaway. So let's get to commenting our names. When I say your name out loud, I have typed it into my computer. I will go over the list one more time before we play. So if you don't hear your name, you have an opportunity to add it, okay? So I'm gonna start off at Taylor Anderson and work my way down. Oh, my husband's in there. So Taylor Anderson, Renee, Renee Medina, my Rory, Rory's trying to win stuff always. Um, Rory, Mallory. Hey, her, yeah, hey, Hurst, Tammy, you guys, what is up? How is your weekend? Let's win some stuff today, you guys. So we've got Tammy, we got Shannon Lee, Tyler Anderson, husband of Taylor Anderson, Jessica Wald, Sarah Peterson. Sarah, do are we related at all? Do you know? We have the same last name, obviously my husband's last name. Macy, Sandra. Uh, Macy, you would be thrilled to know that Kingston still claims um, the Bears as his football team for whatever reason. We're Vikings fans and he wants to be a Bears fan. So Sandra, Amanda, my computer, for whatever reason, you guys, it's a, it's an Apple computer, and any time I type a capital F with a U after, it turns it into two stars. I don't know why. I don't like it, and I'm sure I could find a way to stop it, but Amanda Schaefer, Jenny Castillo, my dad, 72 degrees out here in West Texas. Yes, nice and warm. Kyla... Mossbrucker, I know another Mossbrucker, Daisy Joe, Don Glover, welcome back you guys, all these familiar names, a couple of days in a row, I appreciate it, I know it's easier for you guys to check out my show on the weekends for those of you that have a job and I appreciate it. So we've got Don Glover, Tabitha Looper, Den Denise Bateau, Melissa... Um, I have found out from some of you guys that watch often that it does sometimes take more than one comment to get your name to go through for whatever reason. So if I haven't said your name um, and you commented a while ago, go ahead and type it again just to make sure. Um, Laura Warburton. Wa Wa Jesus, welcome back. Shannon, I think I got you. Yep, Shannon Lee. Perfect, Billy. If you guys are new here and are just like, why is this lady calling off all these names and why, you know, why isn't she cooking? She's supposed to be cooking. I do cook, but I also give away because I am new here. I just started two months ago. Any and all viewers is huge to me, so I give back to you guys. If you check out my page, you will see the giveaway prizes. I also added a lot of the pictures to my website, and it's a little easier to view them on there. But I really, really appreciate all of you guys, and so I want to give back. Since I can't give back to everyone all at once, I do little giveaways. So I've got Billy Hoffmeyer, Jessica, Achiviara. I got you, daddy -o. Thelma Power. Katina White. Jenny Castillo. I think I got a Castillo. Yep, Jenny, I got you. Castillo. Ashley Balsamo. 
Victoria Martin, Macy, you're so proud. Cal, Cal ditch you for the Vikes. Okay, so so Cal's our, our kid, and Kingston is yours when it comes to football Sunday. Victoria Martin, Macy, I've got you. Linda, welcome, newbie. Everybody, welcome, Linda. Linda Hot. I hope you enjoy my show. Charlene, I'm going to start putting your... your the second name, or the first name you have in there. Charlene, Retno would be easier. Uh, Thelma, yes, hello, welcome. Kingston talked about the Bears for mine five minutes straight at the end of the Vikings game. Sarah Peterson, different spelling, but never see anyone with my last name. Oh, I do see the E-N now. I didn't notice that. But yeah, um, funny as it is, so my, um, my mom's last name is Peterson, P-E-T-E-R-S-O-N, and then I married a Peterson, P-E-D-E-R-S-O-N. So I did notice, I didn't notice the E-N at the end, but yes, Peterson's all around. So I got Charlene, Thelma, I've got you in there, Thelma. Jasmine, welcome back, Jasmine. Jasmine, Stefan. Jessica, oh, each, each, Chiveria. I got you, Jessica. Um, Jessica Wald, I think I got you as well. Yep, Jessica Wald, I got you as well. Thumb of Power, I've got you. Yvette Maxson. Jamie Wilkie, welcome back, Jamie. Jamie Wilkie. Carolyn. Taryn, Jody Hahn, Margo, Margo, SMS, SMS. I'm probably butchering that, but it's kind of fun to say. Linda Hot, go Vikings! Yes, Linda, go Vikings! Tammy Jensen. Bonnie Volk, foggy at the South North Dakota border. I believe it. It is um, a snowy mess outside right now. After this, I'm probably going to have to jump off and go start snow blowing before we get snowed in. Victoria Martin, I believe I got you as well, Victoria, but I'm going to go back up and see. Yep, Victoria Martin, I've got you. Jessica Wald, I've got you. Tracy Klein, welcome, Tracy. For once, you are not the last person to comment. I am shocked. Renee, yes, welcome. Carolyn from Rancho Cucamongo, California, welcome. Linda, yes. Um, Sadie Miller, welcome. Everyone say hello to Sadie. Hopefully you guys like and enjoy my page and come back again sometime. We are just doing this giveaway and then we are gonna um, start coating our chocolate, peanut butter balls in chocolate. Sadie Miller, Joey Andrede, hello Joey, Don Rancho from Pomona, Jesus, um, I got you Jesus, Sherry by Conan, okay, Sherry, Sandra Fulmer, check my chocolate, thanks girl, you got my back there, let's see, let's see. I do have it on pretty low, thankfully. So we didn't, we didn't burn it, but it's definitely, it's, it's thinking about it, you guys. It's looking good. Thank you, thank you for the heads up. Checked my chocolate. Sandra, let me make sure I've got you entered in. Sandra. Sandra Falmer. <laughs> Wait, maybe it's Sandra that the FU keeps happening. It is. Okay, I got you. Okay, Sandra. Um, thank you for checking that. Carol, welcome back. Carol Evelo, Carolyn, Taryn, I believe I got you. Yes, Carolyn, Taryn. That was your third comment. Weird. It just doesn't like you to talk to me, Tracy. Rose Crow. And then Annette, yeah, 65 to 75 people watching Annette. Um, it is super awesome. It's really just has taken off and it's super exciting. Okay, so 
Annette, since you were the last person to comment, pick two numbers between one and 10. Two numbers between one and 10, and those will be the number of names we pull to get a winner. Hi, Tatiana, how are you? Sherry, you have to comment three times as well. That's so weird. Um, I've noticed that when there's like a lot of people on a live show that you get filtered through, but I've never noticed it in just 67 watches. So that's, yeah, that's crazy. Maybe everyone's commenting so fast that it gets stuffed up and can't get through. I don't know. But we have our names. I'm going to read through the list while we get two numbers from Annette. And then if you haven't heard your name when I get to the end of the list, comment again. Taylor Anderson, Renee Medina, Rory Peterson, Mallory Hayhurst, Tammy Condon, Sharon, Shannon Lee, Tyler Anderson, Jessica Wald, Sarah Peterson, Macy, um, Macy Moser, Sandra Fulmer, Amanda Schaefer, Jenny Castillo, Dean Rasmussen, Kyla Mossbrucker, Daisy Joe, Don Glover, Tabitha Looper, Dennis Bateau, Denise Bateau, Melissa Malatre, <laughs> Laura Wa Warburton, Jesus Medina, Billy Hoffmeyer, Jessica Echeviera, Thelma Power, Katina White, Ashley Basamo, Victoria Martin, Linda Hot, Charlene, Jasmine Stefan, Yvette Maxson, Jamie Wilkie, Carolyn Taren, Jody Hahn, Margo Esembes, Tammy Jensen, Jensen, Bonnie Volk, Tracy Klein, Sadie Miller, Joey Andrede, Sherry Baikonin, Carol Evelo, Rose Crow, and Annette Niffin. Thank you, sweetie. I commented four names and your name wasn't called. No, I did not see your name, Joe. Joe Momstead. Momstead. That's why I do warn you guys now that I am aware of it, that sometimes it takes a while for the comment, but that's why I go through the list again. I don't want everyone, anyone to ever feel cheated, you guys. I am not trying to cheat anybody. I'm not trying to pick, not pick names. I want everybody in here. I want everybody to be able to win, okay? So I went through the list. I um, see Lacey just jumped on. I will add Lacey's name in and then we will get going. Three and seven. Hi, Lacey. So three and seven are going to be our winners today. Um, I picked the spinning wheel, which looks kind of crazy, but when I pull your name, I do remove it so it cannot be called again to keep the odds as low as possible or high as possible for you guys. Crystal Lions. I will add you really quick, Crystal Lions. And then, now we will go. Three and seven. So let me get you guys positioned so that you guys can see. So we're going to do three and seven. If I pull your name, I do remove it. Linda, number one. Don Glover, number two. Sorry, Don. Jenny Castillo. Jenny, number three. Jenny, you are the first winner of our giveaway today, Jenny. Congratulations. Your job is to um, send Mom Feeling Hungry Boys page your shipping information, and I will get something sent out to you. I am just checking on my chocolate over here, you guys, that's melting so we don't burn it. Um, so we've got Jenny Castillo is number three. So we are going to do number seven. Yes, LaToya girl, you were waiting for me and you missed it. So Jenny Castillo, we are going to do wait, three and I have short term memory, seven. Okay, so here's number four. Yes, Jenny, congratulations. Ashley, sorry girl, number four. So this is number five. Mallory, number six. Renee Medina, so close Renee. All right, number seven. Macy, congratulations, Macy. You are number seven. 
You are winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations, Macy. Um, you don't necessarily have to send me your shipping information. I can probably just pop by when I'm in town next after I after your gift arrives, and we can do that. So congratulations, everybody that entered in and won. And thank you guys for everyone who participated, all of you for hanging out with me. Our Reese's peanut butter balls are in the garage freezing. And I have a set of peanut butter balls that I did freeze already that are sitting here getting ready to coat them in chocolate, you guys. So I did end up finding the paraffin wax at the store. So I did buy some and I have it mixed in with our chocolate. What I've noticed is that the chocolate has um, a thinner consistency, which is going to be really nice in coating these Reese's peanut butter balls because my chocolate that I didn't have the paraffin wax in had um, kind of a thicker t consistency to it so it was hard to get a thin coat of chocolate on our Martha Washington balls. Yes, congratulations everybody. Um, so this is the wax I'm talking about. So it's just paraffin wax. My grandma, it's what she always cooks with when she has to coat something. She did recommend that you don't just stick the block in there. So when she's referring to a block, so a two inch piece out of a block. So here's the block and just a two inch piece out of the block I cut. And then she recommends that you cut it up as finely as you can so that it melts quickly with the chocolate and you're not waiting on a big wax hunk to melt. So what I did and my husband helped me because I had to do it two times because I'm doing two different chocolates, is I used my, my little mandolin uh, slicer. I just used this, you guys, and just kept shaving it and shaving it into little, little pieces, which worked out really well so far. It's melting really nicely with this chocolate, you guys. So I am going to just move you a little bit closer so that you can see what the chocolate looks like right now. So, you guys can see just the edge of my microwave. I know it's kind of shiny and reflects. So, if you notice, it's kind of runnier than what normal chocolate is when you just melt it by itself, which I think will make this coating either a lot easier or a lot more difficult. So, we will see you guys. So, we just, we're going to dip our Reese's peanut butter balls that we made Um all of my recipes are in the descriptions of my videos and I also have tried to be as diligent as possible in updating my website with the recipes and pictures and stuff on there. So I have all the recipes up to date as of right now um, and what's good about my website and what I recommend for you guys is if you ever need to print off my recipe. It, I create PDF files that you guys that are on the website in each recipe file you click on it and there should be a PDF button and you click on it and it'll open it up as a PDF and they're just little recipe cards that I have made with our recipes that we have done to date you guys also on um, my website I link in my video so that you guys can have the visual of what um, what I had to do for each recipe because I know I'm a visual person too and in that way you can stop and pause and rewind as you need to while you're cooking. I do have um, my videos are loaded on YouTube instead of the Facebook link because Facebook can get confusing. It can kick you out and things like that. So YouTube is a little bit easier. Tatiana, it's, um, it's on my Facebook page but it's MF hungryboys.com. Yes, I did it on purpose. MF is supposed to be there. It's supposed to be funny. It's supposed to put a light spin on the fact that it's hard work feeding hungry kids. And so mom fueling hungry boys abbreviated into MF hungry boys. Yes. Mother effing hungry boys because some days you just want to pull your hair out at either making food and them not eating it or making or not making food and them saying that they're starving, you know, you name it. That's what it's about, you guys. Um, so the wax lacy, uh, my grandma says that it helps with coating candies, and then when it um, also when it stands up, it at room temperature it's not melty it won't melt in your hand and it also causes the chocolate to be glossy instead of matte so those are a couple of things that they do to pen the, the wax does to benefit making candies like this if you you know prefer it to be shiny and kind of elegant looking also 
Um, most candies that claim that they don't melt in your hand have um, paraffin wax in them to stop them from doing that. So we're going to try it out, you guys. I was always very, very turned off by the fact that it's wax and that we are eating it. But I put that aside to try it out for you guys and see how it goes. So we have our peanut butter balls. I'm about to grab our bowl of chocolate. My grandma recommends that you use a wooden spoon and I'm not sure why. It says a wooden cocktail spoon and I'm not even really sure what that is. To be honest with you guys, but we're gonna like try our best. Um, what I did last time is I just used a fork and I really liked that. Yes, Macy, um, Cashwise. Cashwise had it um, over in the, um, over in the, I want to say where like Ziploc bags are and stuff. They had um, canning materials and it's a part of a canning material. So that's where I found it at Cashwise in my not you guys. So we are just going to trade out our tin foil so that we have somewhere to set our, our Reese's balls when they are dipped. Oh, you guys, that's so much easier than when we did our Martha Washington balls. So I'm not sure if it's the change in chocolate or if it's the wax. So I would say whatever we're doing today, I would repeat it because that was a breeze, you guys. That was so much easier than coating our Martha Washington balls. Not to mention the um, butterscotch disaster that we had with our Martha Washington balls. So I'm just kind of, I've got my fork and I'm just gonna scoot the ball off with my, my wooden spatula that I've got going on. So I would say this is gonna be super awesome, you guys. I'm kind of sad that I didn't do the Martha Washington balls like this. So I, I stand corrected, you guys. Um, it might be weird that it's wax, but it's making this so much easier. The chocolate isn't sticking to the wooden spoon. It, you can see they're nice and shiny as they're starting to dry. So I would say A plus two paraffin wax. As weird as it sounds or as weird as it seems, so much better, you guys. So much better. Yes, Macy, I'm a pro ball handler. Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> so we are just popping these in here, you guys. Super easy. Super easy. Um, I did pull my balls out of the cold garage probably sooner than I should have because we did our giveaway. So they actually are kind of soft. And even then... So you can see I can add some pressure to it. I have chocolate on my finger. Even then, this is still a breeze, you guys. So I might even grab out those ones in the garage and coat those with white chocolate while we're here and just have it done. Oh, this is so awesome, you guys. I It's dorky, but I'm super excited about this. This is so easy, effortless. Everyone always was scared for me to have to chocolate roll candies. And this has made it such a breeze. Oh man. So Nestle's um, semi-sweet chocolate morsels is what I used for my chocolate. And then I did a two inch block of our paraffin wax. And that was it, you guys. This is super, super easy. And I'm done. That was it. Those were all of the balls of half of our recipe. The other half is still in the garage. But that was it, you guys. And Lisa, it's okay. Welcome. You did miss the two giveaways we did and our Reese's peanut butter balls and we just coated them. So this was super easy, you guys. Super, super easy. You can see that they're still shiny and beautiful. Oh my gosh, you guys. What I have been missing all of my baking life. Can, Mikhail is asking about King again. We've got to get them together soon so they can fight, right? Um, it's a love-hate relationship. But uh, Michael, my brother, said that he gets off today and that someday this week he's going to take them together to go play. So I told him Kingston's schedule of school and stuff and he can come and get him whenever. Um, yeah, you guys, this is awesome. So paraffin wax. 
chocolate. I'm going to drop the whole bag in just because I did put all of that wax in there. So we're going to do this. If you guys are done watching, you can be done watching because we did coat these balls. But I'm just going to coat the other ones that are out in the, um, the garage right now because why not? I have everything out and ready. And those balls that I just coated were actually um, kind of soft and pliable and I was able to coat them no problem. So are you going to put nuts on some of them? Um, that would be kind of a cute decoration. That would be cool, but I don't like nuts. And I... Um, used smooth peanut butter, but you can definitely use chunky peanut butter you guys and cause that little crunch um, Yeah, you can kind of like like what are they called for Rocher those chocolates how they have um, The hazelnuts or whatever on top of them That would be kind of a cute decoration to crumble that on top or even like a wafer of some kind crumbled on top But I am just gonna leave them as they are so awesome you guys with that wax in there. They've already set up So, oh, let me get the camera. Kind of soft a little bit, but not bad, you guys. So that's super awesome. They're super pretty and shiny. Um, should I have my husband eat one or should I? Rory, do you want to take a, a trial bite of this? He's going to try one, you guys. So. I don't know, I always put him on the spot, so he probably would have said no if I wasn't on my live show, but he wants to be nice to me while we're on, so he said yes. I don't want this other chocolate to go to waste, you guys, so we will see how this works. I'm just gonna scoop this into um, a Tupperware container, and then maybe I will be able to get it out of the Tupperware and reuse it. You know what I should have done is done like parchment paper or something on the inside so that I could just lift it out and stick it back in a double boil. What baby? What am I trying? These. Reese's peanut butter balls. <laughs> kind of stuck to the non-stick tin foil. Going in for it. Yep. So Linda, gluten-free. So Powdered sugar, butter, peanut butter, really good. good, vanilla, mm -hmm. all of those things. I'm not really sure what goes with gluten besides flour, you guys. I don't know. I guess I should probably research it, what gluten intolerance um, involves because my um, daughter, or my, um, yeah, my goddaughter is gluten-free. So I should be educated, but I am not. So we are just gonna melt this white chocolate up, you guys, and can never have enough rubber spatulas, you guys. Hoping to get this nice and melted up in our double boil and get chocolate covered. See, I'm thinking I could use this for all sorts of yummy stuff. Bananas, strawberries, just cover everything in chocolate, just everything. Star, yes. I will be sending them to my dad. So if you want to go visit him in Texas and enjoy all of these yummy sweets, our fudge, peanut butter fudge, our Reese's peanut butter balls, our Martha Washington balls, and our lemon squares are all going to my dad's house with his Christmas present tomorrow. So all of my extras are going to be there. Are you coming back for another one? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys. Let's do one more. My husband's coming back for another. Or you can wait. I have white chocolate ones I'm going to do too. Nope, not waiting. Like. Doing it, you guys. So that must have been a winner. So Linda, replying to Linda. It will be fine. See that? Yeah, they're so easy to make, Linda. So easy. Especially, you guys, I was saying, except for dipping it in chocolate, and that was even a cinch. So, I would say these are super easy to make. Um, thank you guys for still hanging out with me. I'm just going to do the rest of these in white chocolate and then call it a day. Stick them in the deep freeze and then send them off tomorrow to my dad. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, Nikki. How are you? I'm just making Reese's peanut butter balls. Yes, my dad is lucky. Um, so, we did our chocolate ones already. Reese's peanut butter balls, and then I'm gonna do some white chocolate ones. So I'm gonna get these. I'll probably just leave them on here and add my white chocolate ones to here, and then I will get them out in the deep freeze 
after that get them all nice and frozen so that when they travel to my dad they have a chance to thaw out and then he can enjoy them when they get there charity hello so let's just pop over here and see how our white chocolate is doing i am so tangled up in my kitchen cords right now there we go so if those of you that are just popping on you guys, I did break down and use my, what my grandma recommended and I did put the paraffin wax in here and it was life changing, game changing. Um, it made the chocolate super easy to dip, super beautiful, nice and shiny It and they set up quickly. I um, I definitely owe her a phone call to say she was right because um, lately she's felt kind of... <sighs> I don't know she's been kind of bummed that I've called her and been like hey like you forgot to put how much salt the recipe needs or hey we were missing this or we were missing that so she's just like well every recipe in my book has been wrong like what do I what else do I expect so um so I am just hoping that calling her and saying she was right about this paraffin wax will kind of brighten her day oh dad if you're still watching Dean Rasmussen star white would like some of these treats she wants you to share. Um, I think last year it was, I made a bunch of, um, of his favorite cookies and sent them over to him and he had them all eaten in like a couple of days because I sent him over a weekend so he didn't have to go to work or anything and he just sat and read books and ate his cookies and made monster cookies and white chocolate macadamia nut and some other random cookies and he loved it but he did say this year if I sent him cookies to just send the the dough so that he could make them as he wanted but he gets holiday treats instead this year so I'm just mixing this up a little bit you guys so that it melts a little faster this is our white chocolate I did use paraffin wax in this as well so I'm excited you guys this is gonna be Super easy, super awesome. The hardest part now, I stand corrected, the hardest part now is gonna be cleaning my kitchen up. <laughs> I hate cleaning my kitchen up after shows. Not fun. Wish I had, wish my kid was old enough to do dishes. He always wants to and he helps really well, but you know, mom's OCD, it's just not as clean as I would really want it to be. <laughs> Yes, sharing is caring, Dad. He might have fallen asleep. The, you know, it's typical that after the Vikings game, he takes a nap. Um, if we're sucking, he takes a nap during the game. All right. We're going to turn this down, you guys, the double boiler, because we are getting some condensation on the sides, which we don't want. You don't want that condensation, that water, to get up in to your chocolate from your double boil. We're getting good, you guys. Just a couple more minutes to let this melt. And then I'm gonna go grab our Reese's balls from out in the garage and get these coated up. Super yummy, guys. I highly recommend this recipe. So good. My husband doesn't really like sweets that often, other than like ice cream. And the fact that he came back for a second one is definitely saying something. So that is good. We're gonna get this. It would be even cute, like maybe I can dip these in the white chocolate, you guys, and kind of drizzle the the, choc the milk chocolate over it instead of doing nuts on the top. I could do nuts too, but I'm so weird. I like don't like, don't like nuts in my desserts. So it's hard for me to even recommend it. So we just want this so smooth, you guys, and we've got a little bit, I think, of the wax that still needs to melt. So I'm just going to kind of spread this out and let that wax melt. Then we will get going. I'm surprised that my four-year-old has not come up the stairs refusing to nap yet. Very surprising. Justin, welcome you guys. We are just finishing up our Reese's peanut butter balls. We coated our first half in our milk chocolate or semi-sweet chocolate, sorry. And now we are gonna do our second half in our white chocolate. Yes, Chelsea, I definitely recommend that you try them. They are super easy to make and super yummy. I'm gonna go out and grab those ones that are in the deep freeze, you guys.
All right. I'm just gonna pop these over here. I'm gonna grab our bowl here. We're just gonna dip these, you guys. I'm thinking it'll be cute if I can use this and kind of drizzle it over the top and make them look pretty. I'm getting all confident now with my chocolate skills, you guys. Hopefully I don't eat my words. Yes, you guys, so this is gonna be good. This looks like this chocolate may be a little more difficult than the semi-sweet. I used my spatula that I was using to roll my... All right, and then what I'm gonna do is try this, you guys. Let's see if you guys can see. Move you guys over. Making my other chocolate look crazy. Let's do this. So let's get these rolled in here. <laughs> so the white chocolate is definitely not as easy as the semi-sweet, you guys. It might be because my peanut butter isn't as cold as it should be. Or... It's just the fact that the white chocolate is a different, different product, but nothing too impossible. There must have been <laughs> some semi-sweet chocolate on my fork because I'm getting little streaks of chocolate on my Reese's Peanut Butter Balls. Hi, Cindy Whelans, how are you? How is everybody's weekend, you guys? Ours. I got to, I was pretty busy yesterday, but today I got to relax a little bit before I came on the show. Let me get this jiggled off. I kind of just tap on the edge, you guys, to push some of that excess chocolate off of the ball. So we just drop it in. I think my husband is gearing up to go snow blow. I think, you know how guys are, any excuse to go use a toy. We got a new snowblower recently, and we had one big snow day, and I got to use it. And then um, then our snow all melted, and it was nice and warm, which is awesome. But now it's cold again. So I think he's going to go out and snow blow for me, which is awesome. Because I don't want to go out there right now. All right. Snowy in Manitoba as well. Snow, snow everywhere. We have kind of avoided it for the most part this season, but today it is coming down and coming down quick. So I am just spraying chocolate all over my kitchen, you guys. <laughs> there we go. One last one, you guys, and we are done coating our Reese's peanut butter balls. And then I will send them all off to my dad tomorrow. But I am going to try my best to kind of decorate these a little bit. Since I am, I don't know. It did melt a little bit, but we will see if we can just do some little chocolate stripes. On here. <laughs> that was a big blob, you guys. There we go. Little stripes. That was my goal. So, they aren't perfect. But you guys, my husband says that they are delicious. I cannot wait to try one. I do want mine to be um, pretty frozen before I try it because there's nothing better than frozen chocolate and peanut butter. But I will definitely set these out, take a fun picture with them, post them on my site so that you guys can all make them too. Super awesome, you guys. They look delicious. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. 
Um, we had two giveaway winners today, and congratulations to those people. And have a good rest of your Sunday, and I will see you tomorrow. I am making a Weight Watchers crock pot stuffing. Um, it is four points, four Weight, four Weight Watchers points for three-fourths of a cup of stuffing, I believe is what it said. I will post the recipe tonight, and we will make it as an apple stuffing, you guys. Super good. Thank you guys for hanging out with me, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.